on nothing you say. Am I on? Oh, I, oh, I'm on. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the McMahon Group. Boy, it's been a crazy, crazy morning here. And talk about body language. Am I on? Am I on? Hello? All right. Listen, you have to listen to my next, my next guest because she is just an expert when it comes to body language and how it can help you in your professional career as well as in your social career. And so basically, if you want to know, does, in a social setting, does, does this person like me? Should I... Should I try to pursue them? Is my flirting working? Or does this person have no interest in me? So she can help you with that. We're also going to go through some pictures uh, that you will find very familiar. One of them is specifically in the situation room that took place right when the bombing, uh, or actually when we killed Osama bin Laden, as well as photos from the royal wedding of Kate and William and what their body language is saying the queen was she was she happy about the day was she tensed so we will find out a little bit more about that and I think we're all ready to go here joining me this morning is Ronette Musso did I say it Ronette Musso Perfect. she is the she has her master's in education as well as an expert on reading and interpretation of body language good morning good morning How so are you, you saw I'm, I'm well you saw kind of a crazy uh, yeah. transition there yeah. so as we were all panic getting into the motion here <laughs> this next segment body language how can it help us in our professional career as well as in a social setting? Mm -hmm. Well, body language really is a wonderful tool. If you go for an interview, for instance, or if you're in a personal situation with your children, with your husband, in a work situation, at your job, uh, in a love situation to know if your date is interested or not, mm -hmm. body language is really a powerful uh, tool you have. For, for everybody at home who would like to know more about it after this segment, I know you have an event coming up, and I want to plug, I want to plug this right now because we're mm -hmm. going to get into these pictures, and I want to make mm -hmm. sure if anybody's, if they are interested, which I hope they are, and I know they would love to go to this, is it's taking place June 2nd at the Millennium Resort at noon, mm -hmm. and the cost is $49, lunch is included. What can they expect to get out of that day? Well, on that day, I do... Um, uh, I do concentrate more or less on business people okay. because I have the feeling it's mainly business people, women who have businesses or do networking, men who are coaches, etc. So it helps them to assess who they have across, how to faster close a sale, uh, how to change your conversation around. If they see that somebody is closed off and mm -hmm. doesn't want to hear a thing about what I have to say, so. It's all good to it know. Helps you and it helps you in your, in, your, in your business career. Exactly, yes. Well, and speaking of that, if say you wanted to approach your boss mm -hmm. for, uh, for a raise. Yes. Um, what, what kind of body language would be welcoming that versus, mm -hmm. like, don't go there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if he leans slightly forward, that means he is interested in what you have to say and listens attentively. If he is leaning back, maybe even doing like this, which is called steepling. Mm -hmm. That means he feels I'm on top of everything, I know it all, and mm. there is not much chance. Well, and as far as in a sales setting, I mm -hmm. think salespeople sometimes will, they'll oversell, mm -hmm. and, and they may have the sale, and then they'll walk out of it realizing that they just, they thought they closed it, but they talked too mm -hmm. much, mm -hmm. and they walked away, and then they didn't get the sale. Yes. At what point, body language-wise, mm -hmm can you read mm -hmm. the person to basically tell yourself be quiet mm -hmm. you've got the sale mm -hmm. uh, I just gave a, a coaching ses session for realtors and for them it's quite important to know the yeah the, the person's body language yes because you're selling a house mm -hmm. so big money mm. so um, watch the people as they walk in how do they walk in do they walk in slowly head down then you want to go really slowly with your approach on the features of the house, etc. If somebody walks in very steady, very erect, head up high, etc., then he is a person you want to say, okay, this is the house, this is what it has, this is how much it is, paid over, blah, blah, give him the information, boom, boom, boom. So you're done. And then you have a good connection. So kind of be like a chameleon and, and read the yes. room a little bit. Yes. Because if you go in and you're all, 
high high energy yes. and you're going to jump all over this person, the one who has his head down is going to yeah. be very like, no, yeah. no, no, and they're, they're going to just pull back right away. Absolutely. And the person who has the head down needs a little time to reflect and a little, a little time to think about. Analyze Maybe it. you want to say, may I ask some questions, etc. May I go over something once more? And okay. you can tell that. Got it. I think we have some pictures that we're going to go to yes. now. One of them is the Situation Room mm -hmm. the day that we were going in to, uh, well, go after Bin Laden. And can you explain some of the body language that's taking place in this room? Mm, I mean, yes. it, first impression for me is that it's very tense. Yes, definitely, yes. Uh, let me start with the president. The president is leaning forward, as I said, high interest. Not only that, but his face mm. is very stern. His eyes are really focused on what's happening. His lips are drawn down, very tense, and obviously he really pays attention to what's going on. Mm -hmm. The next person I find, I shouldn't say fascinating, but it's really a statement, yeah. Hillary Clinton. Yes, yeah, Secretary uh, of State. Her eyes up in awe, her, she covers her mouth, uh, her hand and arm are quite relaxed, but the facial expression is unreal. Yeah. And then I like to talk about the gentleman. There are two gentlemen with arms crossed. Oh, yeah. The one in the blue shirt has a very tense expression mm -hmm. around his mouth. Mm. The one in beige has both arms behind him. That is kind of a sign of you want to not give in completely into a situation. You're hiding something or you want to hide something. Um, Very interesting. And I see the little the girl in the back there yes, kind of peering around, kind absolutely. of almost like a timid child. Exactly. Like, I don't really know if I want to watch this, but I'm going yes, to. Yes, yes. And wow. uh, pre um, Vice President Biden, yeah. he leans back, which is a little surprising, yet his shoulders are forward, so he's still into the scene. Yeah. He has a concerned look, also his lips are down, yeah. and he focuses but he's the only one who leans back a little. Very interesting. Let's mm -hmm. move on to the royal wedding mm -hmm. photos here. Here's yeah. Kate and uh, William. So what's, what are you picking up in this picture? Um, William has uh, some wrinkles on his forehead. Mm -hmm. It's almost like he is a little bit concerned for a second there. Uh, Kate Middleton has her arm very relaxed on um, his hand. However, her look is very straightforward, very stern, no smile. So again, there it looks like it's a little minute of tension. Yeah, kind of like she might have just made a comment to him and he's responding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he has his mouth slightly open. He's saying something, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, we're running out of time here. And oh, here the queen. Let's see the, the queen. queen. What's going on in this one? Super fast. Oh, um, look at this. The queen has her mouth quite a bit open, yeah. almost like she's short of breath, uh -huh. and she needs to. To, to relax for a moment. Okay. Uh, Camila looks at her in concern, it looks like, very stiff posture. Mm -hmm. So there's something going on behind the scenes yes. there, and it looks like Camilla is picking it up, exactly. but yeah, Kate Middleton's mom is trying to figure out what's happening. Right, exactly. So interesting. Thank, uh, thank you. you so much, thank and don't you. forget, everybody, please attend this wonderful conference June 2nd at the Millennium Resort if you would like to know more about body language, how to read it, and how it can help you. We'll be right back after this. Thank you.